I see a lot of parallels between what's happening in the technology ecosystem in the state of Utah today and what's happened in the Silicon Valley in the past. I've spent time there, I lived there, saw how it all feeds off of itself, and you're starting to see that happen in the state of Utah. For a large investment, such as a fabrication facility like we have here. These facilities are typically about three to you know, four billion dollars. There are many variables that goes into our decision for what we call site selection. Utah offers us a very stable government, very strong uh, regulatory and tax structure, and Utah offers one of the most competitive rates in utilities, and most importantly, is really the, the workforce and the employees who really make this possible. Utah, in many ways, has what we consider to be a great infrastructure. It has a great educational pipeline. That means that it's turning out uh, students that are high caliber. It has a very business-friendly government, and it has a very deep talent pool of video game developers, a, a kind of a rich heritage. Sunto Brand was in San Diego, Solomon was in Portland, Oregon, and Atomic was in Amherst, New Hampshire. And we needed a central place to put all these businesses, and immediately Utah came to mind because uh, we are in the ski business and it is the best skiing in the world in our opinion. So we put Utah on the map, but we knew economics had to drive our decision. So after doing a lot of due diligence, it was really clear that Utah was the choice. The cost of living here for our employees was substantially lower. The cost of doing business was about 30% less than some of the other cities we looked at. And then finally the lifestyle was fantastic, both uh, in the winter for skiing and riding purposes, but also in the summer for trail running, tennis, golf, and other great sports. Most states that will have great wind or they have great solar, you know, or maybe a geothermal resource or, or something else. I mean, Utah's got a fossil resource, they've got a geothermal resource, there's a solar resource, and of course there's a wind resource here. And that's rare. So it's a good place to be. teamed up with ATK to do work on the F-35. That work is expanding. They're, they're going to make more planes per year. We're doing the work right now in the state of Washington, but we've always known that we needed to expand.
Coming up next, the governor of Utah comes on taking stock. He's going to explain how his state has rocketed to the number one spot on the Forbes list of states to do business in. Well, we've tried to create a very business-friendly environment here where the entrepreneur can have success and capital can come and invest and have an opportunity to receive a reward from that investment. We've lowered our tax rates. We have regulation reform. Uh, we're trying to empower the private sector to do what the private sector does best. Our job is to keep government off your backs and out of your wallets.